But we're glad you're here this morning. We know there's a lot of head colds going around and a lot of different things, allergies. So we just pray that you're feeling good. And if you're not, that God will touch you and you'll feel better. Let's open in a word of prayer. Father, thank you so much for this beautiful day. Lord, we thank you for the Christmas season where we think about your glorious birth in that lowly manger back in Bethlehem. And Lord, we pray today that as we look at your word, we will remember that not only were you born in that manger, but you came forth victorious out of that tomb and that you are at the right hand of the Father, interceding in our behalf. And Lord, you know every person in this church. You know everything we're going through. Father, glorify your name as you touch us, as you transform us, as you speak to our hearts through your word. And Lord, we will give you all the glory, for it's in Jesus' name we pray. And everyone said, Amen. Amen. Turn to page 194. Let's sing this twice. Huh? Oh, well, we'll get that right out. <laughs> Church here at Thousand Lord, on yes, the mission field, Lord. Thank you. Just bless you in a mighty way. And 
And Lord, most of all, we're just thankful you loved us enough to send us a Savior, Jesus yes, Christ. Thank you. As he loved us enough to go to the cross and shed his blood for our sins. Yes, and we just have that gift of eternal life. Yes. Lord, and we're just so thankful for thank that. God. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Amen. I reached Texas goal of 2,900. We got that in. <laughs> uh, we'll have mission moments now. Lindy, you want to come in? I think that uh, we're going to be speaking. Yeah, well, she's going to speak. Oh, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I wouldn't just get up here and talk this morning, but it won't take but a minute. Kathleen came to me a while ago. She showed me these Wednesday night. And, uh, She's got the, the children involved. She said children should be involved in missions. Our yes. youth and our children should be involved in missions as well. And so um, they made some of these, fixed up some of these jars, and they have little candles inside of them. Wow. And uh, they're in a box back there on the uh, table there in, the, in our kitchen. And uh, if you would like to have one, you can purchase, just give whatever you want to give because it'll give, it'll go towards missions. Yeah. Or Lottie Moon Missions offering. So okay. if you want one back there in the fellowship hall, just go back there after church, okay? All right. And then we're still going to have a DVD yeah. this morning. Tens of thousands of people rallied Monday to protest last week's coup. The military rounded up the nation's democratically elected to open fire on large crowds in several cities. Hundreds were arrested despite the growing international economy. In the book of Acts, in Acts chapter 12, there's a lot of geopolitical things that are happening that everyone would have been talking about, would have been dominating the headline. And yet, in the background behind all of that, without anyone realizing, the kingdom of God was spreading like wildfire all over the known world at that time. We work in an area of Southeast Asia that's experiencing a lot of turmoil and upheaval right now, a lot of anger, a lot of fear. At the same time, we've seen opportunities to share the gospel. People are very hesitant to believe in a God that they can't see. People worship both the spirits and Buddha. But when the pandemic hit, and all of a sudden everyone was afraid and everyone's lives were being changed because of this virus that was unseen. Well, hey, you're scared of something that you can't see. Let me tell you about something that you can't see that will free you from that fear and will give you life. Just outside our city, there's a small village of about 50 people. We got connected to an elderly woman, our national partner, had been sharing the gospel with her. She said, I believe I'm in, and she has since been just an incredible force that God's used in the last year and a half or two years. 
we're hearing stories of 30 homes in this village coming to faith, and this entire village comes to faith, and half of this village comes to faith. God's moving in some pretty exciting ways, but there's still a long way to go. Not knowing what the future holds has been really challenging. Even though there's upheaval and chaos in our region and around the world, we are more confident than we've ever been that this is exactly where we need to be. This is exactly what God has called us to do. In the background, maybe not making the headlines, people's lives will be changed, disciples will be made, and the kingdom of God will spread like wildfire. Do we have any birthdays or anniversaries this past week? I've got one. Let's stand and sing happy birthday to Katie. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Lord, we lift up 
Robbie as she goes to have her leg fixed this week. Lord, be with the surgeons as they do do what they're going to do, Father. The Lord just make a speedy recovery. Lord, watch over and take care of them. Lord, be with Bobby, Lord. He's, he also is there. He has to go through it too, Father. Lord. So, so just be with him and give him strength each day also, Lord. Lord, we lift up Barbara Peel. Yes. And when she, she's sick, yes. we pray for healing upon her body. Her Give her strength each day, Lord. Yes. Well, lots of times when you're sick, you lose our strength, Father. <coughs> and Lord, I, I lift up the Blackwood Church. Yes, Lord. And their pastor, Lord, is they yes. battling this COVID, Father. Yes, touch them, Lord, just be with them. We pray for healing upon their bodies, Lord. Yes, Give them the strength they need each day, Lord. Father, we know that they have faith in you, and we, Lord, we just lift them up to you. Yes, Father. Yes. Lord, we lift up those ones that are in the path of the, the tornadoes this past week. Yes. Father, only those that are there can imagine what they're going through. While we see pictures on the TV about the devastation, it looks like a bomb went off. Mm. Father, but you you knew it was going to happen before it ever happened. Lord, and and I don't know what kind of warning was given, but you do. Those in the path warning. And Lord, we know that nothing doesn't go by, happen that doesn't go by your table for this. Well, we don't always understand why you allow things like this to happen. Lord, we know there's a reason. Yes. Lord, and if it's going to start bringing us back to you, Lord, I just pray, Lord, that our country will start coming back to you. Yes. Lord, I just lift, it up, lift each victim up, Lord, each yes. family up, Lord. Yes. Those that have lost their loved ones, Lord, and those that have lost their homes, Father, yes. give them the means to rebuild, Father. Lord, so so many have been destroyed. Mm-hmm. And the businesses, those that had businesses, yes, Lord. Touch me, touch they have no income, Lord. I just help us. I can only imagine, Father. <laughs> Lord, you're a good God. Yes. And I pray they all come to you, Lord. Yes. If they're lost, those that are lost, I pray they come to you and know you in a real and mighty way yes, during this period of time. Yes. And they'll become back stronger in your name. Lord. Father, I lift up Corey Bullock. As he's battling cancer. Yes, Lord. Touch me, touch Lord, I just pray for healing upon his body. Pray you give him strength. Yes, Father. Be of his family as they go through this with him, Father. Yes. Give them a peace. Lord, I lift up Linda Ferguson. Yes. This infection in her leg, Lord, she's healed her leg. Lord, she has COPD, Lord. Just give her strength and get air, Lord. Watch over and take care of her each day, Lord. Father, we give you praise, Lord. For Terry Eason. Lord, she went through this, Lord. And and now, Father, we just give you all the praise. And she's going to be home and get well and be back with us, Lord. Be back with her home, Father, and her family, Lord. Watch over and take care of each one of them. Yes, Lord. Lord, we we lift up Cindy's uncle Jimmy. Yes. Lord, we just pray for healing upon his body. Yes, Lord. And give him strength each day, Lord. Yes. Watch over and take care of him. Yes. Lord, we praise you that Stephanie went through the surgery fine. Yes, Lord. You got it in the surgeon's hand. Yes, Lord. And Lord, we just give you the praise for that, Father. Lord, I lift up Mark Hooper. Lord, if he's battling with cancer, Lord, we just pray for healing upon his body. Yes, Lord, give him strength each day. Yes. Continue with his appetite, Lord. Lord, I lift up Arm and Pat. Yes. We Lord. miss him. Touch him and help him. And Lord, we have Bless been him. under the weather. Lord, we yes. pray for healing upon their body. Yes, Lord. Give them strength and guidance each day. Yes. Lord, above all, I lift up our church. 
Lord, I thank you for the blessings you've given us. Father, I just pray, Lord, that that we'll listen to you. Yes, Lord. And we'll go with your guidance. Yes. And not our own. Yes. Father, I thank you for all that you've done. Yes, Lord. And Father, if there be a lost soul here this morning, I pray they come to know you in a real and mighty way. Yes, Father. Lord, because if they they don't know you, Lord, we know where they're going to spend eternity. Mm -hmm. Something happened today to them yes. going home. Yes. You never know yes. when it's your time. That's right. Just like all those in that tornado. Yes. Those that lost their lives, they didn't know that they were going to lose mm -hmm. their lives that day. And That's they right. lost it that night. That's right. Lord, and those that did not know you and had the chance to come to know you yes. and rejected you, they're going to be in hell the rest of their life. Mm. And Father, I just pray, Lord, that those, if there be one lost soul here, that yes. they come to know you in a really mighty yes. way today. Thank you for everything you've done, all the blessings you've given us. In Christ's name I ask you. Amen. 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 Let's take Father, our hand. Can I add? Yes. My dad's got an appointment on Friday with the pomologist. Okay. Good. That's good. Maybe they'll get, get things going yeah. for you. <laughs> yeah. Let's take our hymns and stand on page 100. So Laura was going to go to a pulmonologist. <clears throat> Oh. 